So here we have Suzhou's Yao Tun Tanzi. My last video introduced a delicious food with a misleading name, Yulan Bin, Magnolia Kit. It's a type of fried sticky rice dough ball or lump from the neighboring city of Wuxi. The round fried snacks are also found here in Suzhou, and they too have an interesting name. For the snack in question, I'm gonna get mine from Zhao Tian Lu, a time honored brand located at Fengmen Hangjie, which is a time honored wet market, and among the last of its kind in Suzhou. Several of my latest videos revolve around the market. If you're interested, head over to my channel later. Right now, let's check out the Tuanzi sticky rice lumps. Zhao Tian Lu, got my Tuanzi. Gonna head back to the river. The Fengmen in Fengmen Hangjie refers to Feng Gate, one of the ancient city gates of Suzhou. Though this river I spoke of isn't a moat, but rather a waterway that facilitated the movements of goods and people to and from the marketplace. Today, the river is no longer used for transportation, but Fengmen Hangjie has retained its market function. So, here we have Suzhou's Yao Tun Tanzi. They are virtually identical to the uh, Yulan Bin. Mm. And again, good varieties available. I got some of each. Mm. The sweet ones, red bean paste. And then uh, the savory ones, are meatballs, but again, uh, they should be pretty sweet as well because um, you know sweetness uh, is very important in the uh, local cuisine. Yeah, you know, basically uh, analogous to the um, uh, Yulan Bing, except uh, the name is much more straightforward. Yao Chun Panzi literally means uh, fried sticky uh, rice balls. Uh, in fact, the naming is uh, quite the polar opposite. Whereas the Yulan Bin has a um, romantic, poetic ring to it, the Yao Tun Panzi uh, might be deemed inauspicious by uh, some because of the second character, Tun. Now, in this context, Tun means to deep fry, uh, but originally means uh, something else. The character Tun comprises two components. At the top, it's a character Ren, meaning person. Uh, and at the bottom, it's a character Sui, meaning water. So uh, the original design of the character is meant to uh, uh, depict um, something floating on water, like a plank or a person as a dead body. So how did uh, the character Twin come to mean uh, deep fried? Well, when you think about it, um, when uh, foods are deep fried, don't they just float to the top? Yeah, that's why. If you learn a new Chinese character today, hit that like. This is mm -hmm. I purchased from um, the brand Zhao Tian Lu. It's a uh, century old brand and um, it comes in two varieties, like I said sweet ones and the uh, savory ones. Um, and as for, dough, as for the dough, uh, I've heard that uh, they use a kind of flour called uh, wet sticky rice flour, referring to flour made from sticky rice that has been soaked, so not dry sticky rice, soaked sticky rice. Um, supposedly this, this uh, flour produces dough that is um, you know, silkier, finer, uh, and you know, it, it does have very supple mouthfeel. No one why they are very uh, renowned for the uh, Yao Tun Panzi. Uh, another shop uh, also very well known for the Yao Tun Panzi is Rongyang Lao, uh, located in the west of the city. Uh, the place is also famous for uh, classic Suzhou noodles uh, available at very affordable prices. It's a place worthy of a video. Well, video for another time. So I'm going to finish uh, this panzi in my hand and maybe I'll try and meet one and the rest of them. Uh, I'll probably refry them using my air fryer instead of uh, you know, a big pot of oil. So I won't see them like bobbing up and down like bodies. But hopefully they'll turn out 
nicely and just as uh, enlightening. Again. I intended to end my Feng Men Hengjie series with a meal at the Lu Zhenxing noodle shop near the market's entrance, but unable to do so due to temporary COVID restrictions. Oh well, looks like I'll have to save that for another day. However, I will talk about noodles in upcoming videos. 再见!